Welcome back to our channel, Experiments and Projects. As always, this channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All content is strictly for educational purposes only. In today's video, we are going to look at long range NRF models used in an uh, NRF sniffer. We'll learn how this device works and how you can build it yourself. So this is the device. And here is a tab and a Bluetooth speaker we are used in this video. But before we begin, guys, 94% of viewers are watching without subscribing and only 5.7% are subscribed. Look at the statistics. This is the not subscribed percentage, 94% of viewers. What is this guys? Please hit the subscribe button, like the video and support the channel. It really motivates me to bring more amazing content. So here is the statistics. So everyone, please like, share and subscribe before we begin to the video. So uh, let's uh, start with a quick review of the device we will discuss in today. So this, here is the playlist. So this is the playlist and this is the Bluetooth speaker. So we are going to test the device. Uh, let's get into the programming download and extract the source code provided in the description open the folder open the nrf box main folder and open the library folder now copy these files and go to the document section open the Arduino. open the libraries and paste the copied files here that's it and again open the downloads open the folder again open the nrf box main here copy the nrf box v2 into the document section directly let's open the nrf box v2 folder yeah scroll down and you can see this uh, nrf box v2 you can open this in an arduino ide now scroll the program now here you can see the about section your source code and update it uh, with your details and then go to the preferences and paste the provided link and paste this uh, link in the description also I'll uh, provide the link after that go to the board manager and search for ESP32 here you can find uh, ESP32 by Esprit Systems and install the version 2.0.11 or 2.0.12 if 2.0.11 is unavailable. Go to the tool selection. Here you can set the ESP32 and in ESP32 you can select Node 32S. And then open the port and select the COM port 3 and then here it's disabled and flash frequency 80 megahertz and partition schema minimal SPI FFS upload speed 921600 click upload and uh, wait until the program is successfully uploaded to the ESP32 board.
it will take some more time wait until it's uploaded successfully yeah now the program is uploaded we'll go into the circuit and assembly So guys, this is how the device works and these are the long range and RF modules. You can see the long range and RF modules with a small antenna. This long range antenna comes with a metal casing. You can see the model name and everything. Previously we are using the regular and RF modules. These are the regular and RF modules which are medium range. You can use both the versions because they have the same pin configuration. Each module has 8 pins. You can see the 8 pins on each module. But when you compare to the performance, the long range modules are far better instead of the regular small antenna. You can see these are the small antennas. You can attach the large high gain antenna. And this is the large high gain antenna, which gives you an excellent range. Attach here. Just look at the size. You can see that. Just look at the size difference. It's really twice as long as the small antenna. Really awesome, right? You can compare it. And it performs very well because it's a large high gain antenna. So, better to use the large high gain antenna in this device. When you really want a good range, definitely you have to use large high gain antenna. You can also see that I have added some capacitors for stable power supply. These are the long range modules. These are the long range modules, so it consumes more power. So proper filtering is important. I am using a 10 UF 50 volt capacitor here to keep the power stable. You can see the labeling. This is the and you have 50 volt capacitor. Even in this device, you can use both medium range and long range models just like this. So this is the complete setup. You can see that previously I made a video on this. In this device also, you can use both medium range and long range modules like this. Just simple. This is how the device works. Okay, let's check the circuit diagram. Everyone is asking about the circuit diagram. This diagram is extremely useful when assembling the device. Please draw it exactly like this to avoid confusion. Since there are many connections, you can see that ESP, display, switches, NRFs, and uh, LED indicators, etc. Having the circuit on paper helps prevent wrong connection. You can see that I have the draw, I have drawn the circuit diagram on the paper. As it is, I have soldered on the PCB. You can see the NRF connections, ESP connections, etc. Here you can see the both uh, NRF and uh, NRF connections and the ESP connections exactly as they are in the actual device. See, this is how you can avoid the 
wrong connections okay and uh, finally uh, this is the finisher device so everyone i'm i truly recommended that everyone please draw the circuit diagram on paper so this is how i made this device okay this is how you can keep the battery back side you can use some glue so let's power it on and test it when it, when you turn it on you can see that there are many options here you can see many options here in that options go to the pro key mode just click it okay you can see that wi-fi camera radio bluetooth wireless devices zigbee also you can see that it be and wireless devices it will works for all 2.4 gigahertz frequencies this is how the pro key mode mostly you can use the pro key mode only and then everyone is asking about the led indicator is it mandatory no it's not mandatory it's for just indicating the scanning you can see when we navigate to scanner you can see that a led is indicating like it's blinking so because of this light it's not properly visible but you can see slightly it's blinking it's only work on uh, when uh, scanner is on okay this is how the led is useful and this is the full setup you can see that how full setup of this device and then everyone is asking about the battery also here is the battery 3.7 volt 1000 mAh lithium ion battery because uh, why i'm using this uh, battery because it's a uh, compact and portable so that's why i prefer to use this battery so that's it for the today's video guys thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe